Here's an example of what I made July 1st through July 31st in 2018. Um, $714 selling my remakes, my instrumentals, leases, and things like that. That's like a dollar per person that visited my site. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. And welcome to the very first inaugural episode of Sound Architect, the series where I teach you guys how to create, improve, and manage your music here online. So this very first episode is going to be all about how you can sell your music online using your own website created with Shopify.com, whether you're an artist, a producer, a singer, songwriter, whatever it may be. I'm going to be showing you guys all the tools, the apps, the tricks, and everything that you need to know to set up your website to get the best sales the best conversions and all that stuff coming right up let's go so first before we begin today's video I just want to ask everybody watching scroll down and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial like this also while you're down there hit that like button it'll help this video get in front of a lot more people so first off just to explain what Shopify is it's basically a web hosting service where you are able to go in and build your own website get your own dom domain and all that stuff and sell physical products, digital products, do subscription services, whatever you can think of, Shopify basically has it. I've been using Shopify for I think about three and a half years now. I've used it with my music platform and selling physical products as well. And I have generated about $250,000 total gross um, using Shopify. So it is a really reliable tool that almost everybody uses these days. It integrates very well with Facebook. It's got a lot of features, a lot of tools that you can use to get your customers and nurture a, a really good fan base. and people People even like Kylie Cosmetics use it, MVMT watches use it. Shopify is a very trusted website everybody uses. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your website. And if you wanna go ahead and start building your website with me right here, right now, you know, kind of follow along with me, there will be a link down in the description to start your free trial today. So if you wanna go ahead and click that, do so, and then, you know, go along with me, step-by-step -step process, and I'll show you how to create your website, all the apps and all that stuff. Go ahead and do that right now. Let's get started. So basically guys, if you have already clicked the link in the description, it'll take you to this page where you wanna start and set up your store for your free trial. Now the free trial period may be 30 days, it may be 14 days, it all depends on what promotion that they have going on. Either way, you still get a few weeks to try it out. You don't have to enter any credit card information or anything like that. You just basically go here and you can start your store. So you would come here um, and enter in your email address. And this is just an example right here. You type in your password that you want to use uh, for when you basically set up your store and your store name. Then click create your store. Basically, it's going to set up your store for you and then it's going to ask you some information. This stuff doesn't really matter too much. Fill in your name, your address, what city you're in. Obviously, this is not my real information. I'm just using this as an example. And then once you set up your store, you're going to have something that looks a little bit like this. So, you know, you're going to have basically your uh, main dashboard screen here. And once you make sales and all that stuff, this is where your uh, information like the main information is going to show but right now you know since you just got started it's just giving you like a bunch of welcome information and select a plan once you want to get started and all that stuff on your right side total sales the so sales breakdown sales by channels and this is all your information about that stuff and the left side is basically your menu to sort between products um, customers analytics marketing discounts things like that all right so that was basically just how to set up your account now I'm gonna show you my actual website that I use to distribute my music and sell my music my beats and all that stuff so here um, we have my whole entire website this is my my dashboard you know my main screen my home screen good morning Lorenzo here uh, you can see I have no sales yet my total sessions for today is 17 so that's 17 visits to my store once you have set up your store and um, you've done all the logistical stuff and, and the technical, all that stuff, you know. Two things I want you guys to be sure of. We're going to go ahead and go to the settings, um, the settings menu here to just make sure that you have a few different things uh, set up. So let's go to payment providers. And what you want to do here is uh, change your provider. Unless it already says Shopify payments, go ahead and change your provider to where it says Shopify payments. And then if you want to include a, an express PayPal option, you can do that. I recommend it because some people prefer to use PayPal. So I highly recommend that. But this means basically you can take credit cards, you can take PayPal and other payment methods during checkout. So it's not just PayPal and it's not just credit cards 
Um, if you get to the point to where you want to do Amazon and things like that. For payment authorization, I say to automatically capture payments for orders so that everything is automated. Once they pay, you get the payment, it goes to your store. You don't have to do anything on your end, nothing manual. So that's all set up for that. We are going to go to, I think, checkout. So come down to customer accounts and make sure that the accounts are optional. So this means basically when somebody comes to your store, they don't have they don't have to create an account in order to make a purchase from your store. If they want to make an account for faster access next time than they can but if they want to just straight out buy from you without making an account they can go ahead and do that and what that does is basically it allows you to make more sales because some people they don't want to go through this entire process of having to make an account they basically just come in and just buy from your store um, it leads to more sales so I recommend you make make it optional don't make it required and don't make it disabled give people a choice so then order processing you want to check use the shipping address as the billing address by default and then check enable uh, address auto completion so that that'll make for a faster um, checkout for them um, after an order has been paid you can either click to automatically fulfill the orders line items that is the product that is in whatever order for email marketing you want to show a sign up option at checkout and pre-select the sign up option so that means uh, basically once they make a purchase um, the customer automatically opts themselves into your email list which I highly recommend because then you can market products to them later on if they're a fan especially abandoned checkouts is a very important thing um, in Shopify basically if somebody has a second thought about buying something from you or uh, for whatever reason they have to abandon their checkout and then they kind of forget about it Shopify has apps that does this as well but there's a obviously a free option right here you can basically check to automatically send an abandoned checkout email um, to anybody who abandons their checkout so I would do that and then uh, send after around six hours so it'll kind of remind them like hey you still have this in your thing in general you want to select your store currency and, and all that stuff so if you're in a different country um, you would select whatever currency that you want to use so basically once you guys have all that stuff set up and you, and you have your checkout and everything ready and good to go um, I would recommend you come to the apps section and you want to download these apps right here now you don't need all these apps but I'm going to tell you which ones I highly recommend for um, musicians and, and beat makers to um, basically start their online store so there's digital downloads basically you would come to the Shopify store here if you if you don't have this stuff here digital downloads it's gonna be right here and it's free. That's why I like it. It's free and it does the job. So you would just click add app and it would add it to your store. You wanna have some sort of email marketing. Right now I have OmniSend because they have really good options to use. Some people use MailChimp and stuff like that. I use OmniSend but I'm currently using the free version because it's kind of expensive and I don't have that kind of money right now. Um, Hurify, so countdown timer, type in Hurify over here. Now this has a two day free trial, but you do have to pay after you get it. It's $6.99 a month, so it's not too bad. Basically when you run sales uh, on your songs or your beats or whatever it may be, you can basically put a countdown timer to drive that sense of urgency. Just make sure you're not scamming people and, and saying that there's a limited amount of time, but you keep it on forever. If you're only doing digital products, those are pretty much the only two, only three applications that you do need. Now, I do have a few other things on here. Printful, which is for like if you want to design merch and have your merch uh, ship out to your fans and stuff like that, you can do that. And then Orbelo is like physical products that you can uh, drop ship. So basically, you got your digital downloads, you got your email marketing, you got your countdown timer. And I would say that that is pretty much these top three right here are the only ones that you need if you're going to be doing, if you want to just focus on beats or songs or digital products, just like that. Let's go ahead and create our first, first product. And the reason I am even suggesting Shopify as an alternative to other sites like BeatStars or putting your stuff on iTunes and, and all that stuff, iTunes, look, iTunes doesn't give you your customer data. You don't know who's buying from you. You don't know where they're coming from. Um, so that's really stupid in my opinion. Uh, also, they take, I think it's like 40, 30 to 40 percent of your sales, which is really stupid. Uh, Shopify only takes 2.9 percent plus 30 cents for every sale. So you get to keep a pretty big amount, even at the lowest amount. Let's just do go here and we're going to add a product and we're just going to pretend we're going to call this test song. This is the new single test single 
from Legend. So whatever you want to type in, you can type it right there. If you want to write down like a track list, one, two, three, four, five, you could do that. If it's an album, you can make lists and basically, you know, just utilize all these tools in here. You can put in videos if you want to, if you have like a trailer or something like that. Um, so then you want to come to upload an image. So we let's say Annie. This is a song that I released last year. Um, so basically, it's uh, five by five, I believe. So it's a perfect square. That's what you want, you know, if you're doing singles. And what I recommend for any sales of any kind on your. So it's all uniform. Um, you want to set your price. So I'll say this is going to be a dollar twenty-nine, just like on iTunes. If you want to set a compare at price, um, in this case, I would do this if I'm putting something on sale. So if I normally sell my albums for, I mean, my singles for two ninety-nine. I can mark it down to 129 and then once you see it on the website, it'll basically say it have 299 crossed out and it'll say 129. So if that'll indicate that it's on sale in inventory, since it is a digital product, you're not tracking like physical products that you have. So it's unlimited. You want to come down to inventory policy and go to don't track this inventory. Don't track inventory. This is not a physical product. So uncheck this because if you don't, uncheck it then it's going to think that you have to ship something out and it's not going to fulfill the order so in some cases i offer uh free tag instrumentals uh mp3s and wave files or like with the, the stems and everything so in this case i would add a variant um and i would say i don't know type and here we would put the different values so that would be lease no i'll just say like this mp3 wave and stems boom and then here you can select different prices uh the mp3 be a dog 29 the if this is a beat let's say it'd be 25 the wave would be 50 and the track outs would be 150 and then that way you can select uh whatever files that you want to correspond to each of these variants um so in this case so here we click more actions and once you click more actions you'll see a bunch of different options uh, add digital, digital attachment. So that is the one we're going to use. And depending on if you have one uh, variant, one file, one product in here, or if you have many, you can basically see on the side, these are your different variants. So MP3, Wave, and Stems. If it's just one, it's just gonna show one, but you would upload each file here. So we'll just say Annie MP3. And boom, we have Annie right there. I would open that up and it would basically just load that into here you do the same thing here and basically once it's done loading that's when you can uh leave this page um never don't leave it while it's loading the stuff because then it's not going to complete but once this is done view in your shopify admin and i usually close this page because i don't like having all these pages open and basically the way this works is once they make that that uh payment and they order the product um it's going to display the download link on the checkout page you know after they finish the checkout so it's going to be an immediate download boom so we have our tracks we have everything uploaded our beats whatever it may be that you're trying to sell um and then in this case i will go to more actions and if it's like a time sensitive thing you can go down here to manage countdown timer and here is where you will set basically your time limit for whatever you're trying to sell get out of here please turn it on to active and I usually put it at 12 hours um, depending on what it is if I have a 24 hour set I'll do that uh, but you can set this at 12 hours whatever settings you want you could choose a custom text um, display the timer bar of course you want to do that and you would click save boom click uh, view it's going to show how it looks in your store and this is basically the page right here Uh, also, when you come here in the settings, you can um, click to automatically create fulfillment. So it'll automatically send out the uh, file to the people or you can create manual fulfillments. Now, this is if you have a CD, um, but once you do that, everything should be fixed. And yeah, they'll be able to add it to the cart. So like their uh, different variants, if they have different ones. And yeah, so this is my site now. Um, I have a different layout right here, but once you get started, it'll give you like the default layout, which is uh, in, where is it at? Online store, I believe. Online store, you click themes. And um, this is the theme that I have set on right now. Uh, but either way, uh, if you wanna change your theme, which you don't have to uh, starting out, but if you want to change your theme and get a more custom look, you can always go to uh, explore free themes. You can visit the theme store. 
Uh, and once you get your theme, so you'll see like these are all the free ones. They have some paid ones in here. But once you find a theme that you like, um, you can view the demo, see how it looks on your store, see how it performs and all that stuff. You can even see what it looks like on mobile. So this looks pretty cool. Uh, and then you would add the theme to your store. And then once you come here, it'll appear in this theme stuff. So you can choose to make it live immediately or you know, customize it first to your liking and then get it to where you want it to be and then add it to your store. Once again, I have been using Shopify for three and a half years. I've made a lot of money with Shopify. Um, selling physical products and selling my music like this. Let's do February 1st through the 28th. So February 2018, I made $927.91 that month just selling my music. This is not working somewhere else. This is not, uh, you know, running ads. And all. This is free traffic from YouTube, from my YouTube channel. So I, I built my audience. I was getting traffic almost 2,000 visitors to my store that month. These are just examples of what I have been able to do on Shopify and granted I do have a big audience and um, I do have a lot of traffic coming from my YouTube channel. I don't have to pay for Facebook ads but I could if I wanted to. Obviously you're not going to jump out the gate and running and then all of a sudden you're making a thousand dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month you have to build up your repertoire your customers you have to get your free traffic from your youtube or wherever your fan base is located but i'm saying that once you do get that built up or if you already have it built up and you just need to build the site come and join shopify i promise you i mean there's a lot of other websites out there but i personally can't speak for any i know that shopify has been working wonders for me i highly recommend shopify just Get the link down in the description, guys, to start your free trial today. You don't have to enter any credit card information. I talk a lot about the music creation and I talk a lot about how to make beats and how to do this and record, but I never really talk about the financial side or the business side of music creation. And that is something that I want to touch more on because I want to help people to make a living out of their craft, not just improve their craft, but to make a living out of it. So if you guys like today's video, scroll down and hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications, you'll be notified the next episode episode of sound architect which will be next thursday thank you guys for watching so much i appreciate you and as always stay legendary let's go oh.